Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply. Um, I bought this old Rockwell bandsaw off Facebook Marketplace for really, really cheap. But um, like anything, when you buy something for really, really cheap, generally, it needs some work. And that's kind of why I bought it. I wanted to make some videos on repairing these old 14 inch bandsaws. So what I'm gonna do today is focus on a table. If you look at this table right now, you see well, it's, all, it's all over the place here. Uh, one of the trunnions underneath is broken. So if you come down and look, um, you can see very, very common for these trunnions to break right there. That's broken off and I'm also missing a few of the bolts that hold it down. So I'm going to replace that. Now a lot of people aren't really aware these parts for these bandsaws, even though this bandsaw is about 30 years old, are still available. Uh, easy to get. We'll have them listed on our website. Um, so they are available. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop off the table and just show you quickly how to replace it. Okay, so if you guys don't know, um, to take these bandsaw tables off, they got the two knobs that you would normally loosen to tilt the table. If you remove them all together, the table will be really easy. Just lift off like that and slide out through the blade. So I'll find a nice flat spot to lay this now. All right, so I got the table laid down and I'm um, just looking at the trend inch here. So this is the broken one, obviously very, very broken. Um, so what I'll do is I'll remove these and just replace it. Now this is the new trend in here. Um, it, it's the same on both the left and the right side. You just flip it over. Um, now if you look at this one, also a little bit loose. Um, so I got, and it's missing a nut or a bolt here. Um, so it's, with these old Deltas and Rockwells, they're all just quarter 20 threads. So it's really easy to find a replacement bolt for it. Um, I have one here, a little machine bolt. Um, originally, these trunnions were made so that these little Allen bolts would kind of see in there and line things up, uh, but they're pretty mangled up here. So I'm just gonna replace them with the um, 45 degree angle on here. That will help seat it and get everything lined up. Um, so yeah, I'll just pop these out and then we are good and replaced. Now, let me take this one out first and I'll just show you here. Um, when you get a replacement trunnion, it's not going to come with the stud here. So we're going to keep that. We're going to reuse that. We'll throw the new trunnion. Well, this guy goes right through there, just on there like so. Um, so then we can use, I'll replace all with new hardware here. So if anything ever needs to be worked on again, it's nice and easy to take out. All right, so we pretty well got them all done here. The other thing that you'll notice, this table right now, it's got a, it's a bit of a rock to it. It's also missing that pin that aligns the table here so you can actually see how far it's out. Um, oftentimes those get lost, but they are available. So I got a brand new one I'll install once I get the table back on the bandsaw. But we're just gonna throw the table back on here. So slide her back through, rotate it, and just try to fish those two um, studs down through the holes here. There goes one. And there goes two. So then we'll just thread the knobs back on. There we go. So now you'll notice Nice sturdy table, no more rocking. And we'll just slide that pin in. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a thump, but now that table, nice and flat. Could use to be cleaned up though. Um, so yeah, that's how you replace the trunnion on these old bandsaws. Really not very difficult at all, and really not that expensive. Um, so if you find one um, for a good price, and it has a broken trunnion, don't be afraid to buy it. Um, so I'm going to be doing a, a few different videos on this bandsaw. Next one's going to be about replacing the guide assembly on the top and the bottom, the thrust bearing, as well as this is missing some parts here. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for those. If anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockhamsupply.com or just comment on the video and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thank you.